So, as y'all can see, I'm looking busted right now. <laughs> hey you guys welcome back to my channel my name is sydney and if you're new then welcome so you guys today i'm bringing you my updated skincare routine i'm making this video because it was highly requested it was highly recommended i know it's summertime and the fall it's actually coming up so it's like a lot of transitions that people are like you know making with their skin and all that so yeah that's why i wanted to kind of bring you guys my updated skincare routine because it has changed and i am loving these new products that i have and of course i want to put y'all on so yeah that's why we're here today i haven't washed my face yet i'm just not just waking up but i woke up like an hour or two ago i had class on zoom today so yeah i brush my teeth and everything and i usually do my skincare routine after i brush my teeth um and it's a couple of steps it's kind of a lot so i'll make sure to have everything linked down below so you can you know know where to go to get these products if you're interested in seeing my skincare routine just keep on watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and also don't forget to hit that bell so you'll be notified every time i post don't forget to follow me on instagram at curls by sid and on twitter at life of sydney and if you're interested in seeing my skincare routine just keep on watching and I hope you enjoy. So to get started with my skincare routine, I first use my cleanser and the cleanser that I use now is the Aveeno Positively Radiant Brightening Cleanser. It is said to help even skin tone and texture and of course to cleanse. It is dermatologist recommended and I love this. I absolutely love it. This is a very, very lightweight. It's creamy, it has a creamy um, texture and what i like about it is it doesn't um it doesn't set up that much and something that you should know about cleansers um if you don't already know the more your cleanser suds the more that it dries out your skin and i already typically have dry skin i have combination skin but it's kind of dry most days so i typically go for a cleanser that is not drying and that is very hydrating and that's this one right here you can get this from walmart target Walgreens, I think, um, Amazon, they have this on Amazon as well. Um, you can really get it anywhere. It's about $6. It wasn't expensive at all. I actually, and Aveeno, like if you know Aveeno's products, they aren't cheap, so yeah. I wet my face with warm water, not hot, warm, because hot water also dries out your skin, so I like to use warm, lukewarm water. I sweat my face and I lather, so I'm gonna do that now, and I'm gonna come back and show you guys the texture and everything so you can see it. So I wet my face and now I'm gonna take my cleanser. I usually take about two pumps because it does, um, a little goes a long way. It looks like this. It's very, very creamy as you can see. And I just rub it together and then I start to lather. It smells good. The smell isn't overwhelming at all. Um, if you know, if you've used the Venus product before, then you know that they're products don't really have a lot of fragrance which i love so yeah once i have lathered my cleanser enough i go back in with lukewarm water again and i just rinse it and then i towel dry so i'm gonna go do that now so after i do that um i like to double cleanse i don't know if i said this already but i do double cleanse especially when i have acne on my face i like to use an oil cleanser just because i feel like the oil penetrates your skin more even more you know the oil cleanser that i use is from urban hydration it is the olive and tea tree cleansing oil i actually think that i used this in my first skincare routine so this isn't new so it looks like this it's bomb it's a bomb product it hydrates your skin you can really tell and i think that what helps the acne is the tea tree oil um i've read that tea tree oil does wonders with like acne and stuff like that so yeah directions say to apply a warm damp cloth to face in 20 seconds and that's just to get your skin ready to prep your skin you know open your pores and all that but i'm not gonna do that i'm actually gonna use my steamer when i tell you it's bomb i'm pretty sure you can hear it heating up it's really bomb. It's, I got it from Armand Skincare. As you can see, it's rose gold around the trimming and it's dirty, but ignore that. It's a really fast warming steamer. Like it heats up really, really fast. Um, and it goes for a long time. It really, really lasts a long time. So I really recommend it. Um, and another thing I like about this steamer is it's very, very small and portable. So you can take it with you whenever you travel or you know, whatever, but 
yeah i really really like it if you're interested you can use my discount code sid20 is going to be right here somewhere in the screen if you use that code you'll get 20 percent off so another reason why i really like this steamer is because it gives you such like a spa feeling oh i love it and i just i don't just use this whenever i do my skincare routine I also use this when I'm having like headaches, if I catch a bad migraine or something, I'll put like essential oils in it and steam my face and it helps a lot, it really does. So I think my face is prepped enough. Okay, my pores are open and I'm ready for this oil. So what I do is I just add it to my fingers and I just lather it into my face. And I like to focus more on the areas where my acne is. So I said like this area in my forehead, just to make sure those areas are getting the TLC that it needs, you know? So after I lathered that in, I'm gonna wipe my face with a warm towel, lukewarm towel, and then I'll come back for my next step. So I wiped the oil off of my face. And what I love about the oil is it keeps my skin hydrated even when it's not like on my skin like i've wiped it off of my skin but like my skin doesn't feel dry at all and usually like not usually but sometimes whenever i wipe my cleanser off you know my face just feels dry and i can just feel my skin like cracking and it's like disgusting so the next step in my skincare routine is i like to use a lip scrub because your lips are a part of your skincare routine so the lip scrubs that i use is from the pretty girl collection um it's on instagram facebook i'll be sure to link it down below so you can go check her out um she has bomb products and a lot of products she actually just dropped her fall collection so i'm really really excited about that she has bomb lip scrubs the quality is so what I like to do is just wet my lips, take some lip scrub. I'm using a mini one because I can't find my bigger one, but yeah. What I like about her lip scrubs, they smell really, really good and they taste good too. Not that you should be eating them, but you know. This one is cotton candy. That's why it's like blue around my mouth. So after I wipe my lip scrub up, I like to follow up with a moisturizer, like some kind of lip moisturizer. Um, I have a lot and I like to use lip oils. So I'm using this one. Um, I think it's the lavender and mint or something like that, but it looks like this. It's just a regular lip oil. So I just apply that and it smells so good. It smells like essential oils, which I love. So after that step, I like to tone and the toner that I use is from Armand Skincare. Again, it's a brightening toner with lactic acid. And the direction states to saturate a cotton pad or cloth, swipe across cleansed face and neck, avoid the eye area. If using in the morning, apply an SPF afterwards. And it is vegan and cruelty free, which I love, that's a plus. Wipe on my face just to get any extra product off of my face, any extra oils, you know off of my face this does have a strong smell but i mean that doesn't bother me and it's just a toner and it does have lactic acid in it i like to use this at night after i do a mask um it's very inexpensive and it's a bomb toner so that's why i love it um i pretty much love everything from armand skincare like their products are so bomb, you guys, and they're all vegan and cruelty-free. They're all inexpensive, too. So after I tone, I like to take serums, which is my favorite part because I love a good serum, okay? And I do use two serums during the day. First serum I use is from Naked Flamingo. It is the Juicy Dew Ultra Glow and Protect. It is a 15% vitamin C serum, and it's one fluid ounce. Um... The directions say to smooth over face and neck and avoid your eye area. Apply before other moisturizers and thicker serums, which I'm doing. And you can use this twice a day, um, but I normally use it during the day. You know, just my preference because I have another one that I use at night. But yeah, it looks like this. You really can't see it. But yeah, I love this serum. I can really see a difference. I've been using it for about two weeks now. Love the fact that it it's one fluid ounce and i've been using this for about two weeks like i said but it doesn't it lasts very very long um and when i use it i typically use two pumps you know that's usually enough to look. and i just moisturize my face and it's a very very light serum um i'll be honest i really don't like the smell 
it's more of like a natural smell i'm not sure but um but i mean that doesn't bother me you know i still use the product every day i love the product like i said it's very lightweight um and i like the way it makes my face feel after it makes me feel moisturized it makes my skin feel smooth it does get tacky like a serum is supposed to do ingredients contain water aloe vera um ascorbic acid vitamin e rose hemp seed oil and a bunch of other stuff that you really want to lean more towards when you're looking for a skincare product you want to lean more towards natural stuff and not products that contain a lot of chemicals in it because obviously that's not good for your skin i mean some are but most are not so that's why you want to lean more towards a natural product which this i love if you're interested in trying this i'll have it linked down below make sure you go to the naked flamingo website juicy do ultra glow plus protect serum and it is amazing the next serum i like to use is from armand skincare again it is the hydrating serum and it contains vitamin b5 it's 0.5 fluid ounces but i do have the one ounce i think it is our two ounces directions say using your fingertips apply a small amount of serum to your face and neck this is what the serum looks like but i love this serum I've been using this for like a month now and I absolutely love it. I love the texture of it. It's not heavy and it's more like um, a thicker serum. I don't really know how to explain it, but it's not watery at all, which I love. It doesn't have a smell, um, which I also love because, you know, fragrance free is always best. So the next part of my skincare routine is an aloe vera gel and i typically use this at night um i use this during the day sometimes whenever i feel like my skin just needs that extra moisture and i also like to steam with this um it's just very very hydrating that's why i love it get this from anywhere this is the dollar general brand you can literally get any type of aloe vera gel it's all the same thing um but yeah i just like to take some of that it's like this it's very slippery and i just add it on my face and I rub that in just like a moisturizer. Very hydrating. It smells like aloe vera gel. Don't really have much to say about it. So after that, my last step is my moisturizer slash SPF. And the one that I'm using now is from Fenty Skin. Of course, you all know I had to. I absolutely love it. This is the only product that I do have from the line because when I tried to get the other ones, they were sold out. Because I'm on the VIP list and it was like so hectic the day that it dropped. Well, the day that we got early access and I just couldn't like, I kept getting kicked out of the page. It was like so crazy, but I finally got my hands on this. One of the main things I love about it was the packaging and just the overall aesthetic of it. Like, who don't? like what who doesn't love this and it also comes out it's also reusable um you can purchase this on the website for like 30 dollars, and the whole thing is about 35 so yeah this it's like a pinkish lavender color um i absolutely love it it smells amazing oh my goodness and it leaves that glow it's like perfect for summertime it doesn't leave a light cast. It smells so good. Oh my goodness. This. And it's not like an overwhelming moisturizer. Like, you know how some moisturizers can make you feel like just greasy and like weighed down? This one doesn't at all. Like, Rihanna really did her thing, honey. Okay. Yeah, that about wraps up my skincare routine, you guys. This is what my skin looks like after I finished. Um, I do need to do my eyebrows, so ignore that. But yeah this is how my skin is looking i really enjoyed doing this because as you know well if you don't know then i love skincare and i do take pride in it um like i would spend a lot of money on my skincare because you know it's worth it and you really get what you pay for when it comes to things like this but yeah everything that i use is not expensive at all like i said if you're interested i'll have everything down in the description so you can check everything out if y'all are interested i will film a night skincare routine because it is a little different um, for the most part, it's the same, but I do do a couple of things different. So if y'all want to see that, then just let me know. Don't forget to subscribe. Comment down below if you like this video. Comment down below what products you already have. Don't forget to turn that bell on so you'll be notified every time that I post. So I'll see you guys later, and thanks again for tuning in.